Anybody that knows me, everybody that knows me, knows what a huge Disney freak I am. Uh, Mickey Mouse tattoo right here on my really? leg. Should I show it? Yeah, show it. Okay, can we do that? Yeah, here, go ahead. All right, here we go. There, see? Wow. I am an yeah. annual pass holder. That's a nice holder. drawing. That's a nice drawing. I had it done here in LA. Annual pass, years ago. Annual pass holder, Walt Disney World. Many passes to Disneyland. I love Disney. Are you in D23? I am a D23 gold member. Wow, okay. Oh, so, uh, yeah, see? Yeah, well. It's an honor to meet you both, is my point. Okay. Uh, nice when you, to meet you, when you go down the list of films that you both have worked on, I just want to mention uh, Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Princess and the Frog, Fox and the Hound. I mean, it's just incredible. Yeah. And here we are talking about Moana. Yes, 2016. Inspiration for the story. Tell me where it all began. It all began about five years ago, really. Yeah, five years ago. I pitched, we were looking for a new idea. I was intrigued by the Pacific Islands, never having been beyond Hawaii, but I had read books that were set there and seen paintings from there. So I started reading Polynesian mythology, and that's really the springboard. I learned about this character, Maui, who's bigger than life. He's a shapeshifter. He's got a magical fish hook he can pull up islands with. He seemed like, why has this never been done in animation before? So we, we built a story around yeah, that. Yeah, I read the myths, and we came up with a very simple story. We pitched to our boss, John Lasseter, and he thought it was a great idea. That was a really interesting world in a world that hadn't hadn't been seen in a lot of movies, but he said, you've got you've to dig much deeper. You've got to really go to these places. And that led, about five years ago, we went to um, the islands of Fiji, Samoa, and Tahiti for about three weeks. Um, and we learned so much uh, about people's connection to the ocean, about the history of navigation, about the respect, importance of respect for nature. So many things that we came back, we sort of threw out our earlier version of the story, except for the character of Maui, and we brought in the character of Moana, and and uh, and that's where the story emerged. So the movie's coming together, and you get some of the biggest names, I think, Dwayne the Rock, <coughs> right. Lin Manuel Miranda. Right. I mean, how how does he's the hottest thing right now? How yeah, did we, this all happen? We actually, in the case of Lin, we got him before we knew anything about Hamilton. We just knew in the Heights. That was we met him in New York. Years ago. Yeah, three, three years, years ago, ago. We, we wow. met with him, and we just were so inspired by his enthusiasm and his work on his other projects and his ability to move from one language to another like he did on In the Heights, we went yeah. from Spanish to he English. He just very briefly mentioned that he had another project that this he was thing, involved you know. with for public theater, yeah. a Obscure. sort of musical, a rap version of the story of Alexander Hamilton, and we just kind of nodded, okay. Like, and, yeah. and, That'll um, take a few weeks and yeah, then you get down yeah, to the serious uh, business, little, <laughs> like our movie. Little, yeah. little did we know, we ended up um, doing a lot of Skyping with Lynn. Uh, just before he was going to be going on stage every night uh, to perform. He'd be in his so. dressing room eating his Chinese food in his Hamilton outfit and we'd talk about the songs and I gotta go on stage and that's the way it was for a couple of years. The visual in my mind of that is hilarious. I have to bring this up. You worked with a gentleman by the name of Roy E. Disney. We did. And I, I just want to, as a Disney fan, and I just, tell me what you can a little bit about working with him. Roy was an amazing guy. I mean, he really helped keep animation together when it was threatened in the mid 80s and there was, you know, yeah, it almost, of takeover it almost of the went away and, yeah. uh, in about 1984. Disney animation could have stopped completely and Roy really fought very hard. He felt it was an important part of the company to keep it going. He, he was a great guy. I think Roy would have loved this movie because he was a sailor. You know, he sailed in this transpact, this sail from Catalina to Hawaii and he loved sailing. So he would have, you know, he died before this movie ever was even pitched, but he, he would really have embraced this film.